YouTube in this video I'm going to review liquid smooth Android Lollipop 5.0.2 based ROM on your Samsung Galaxy S3 i9 300 if you look go to the settings and about phone you can find I'm running on liquid smooth which is based on Android 5.0.2 uh, the release date is 22 December 2014 uh, for me it is the most stable and uh, working and lollipop rom that I ever tested everything is working properly if you look at the dial pad everything is smooth everything running fine contacts app even uh, stock camera is working it's fine working fine you can get the all the settings from here okay so even the lock screen is working perfect with the power button it's turning off I can directly open the dialer app as well as I can directly open the camera from itself if you are getting any error with the stock ROM you can use the any other ROM from the Play Store the Wi-Fi is working fine data is working fine and you can see battery options if you click that one you get the battery details as well as you can use battery saver options which comes with the Android Lollipop and then other options are here like test screen and even the user option you can switch the user and here is a gallery app messaging app if you go to the settings option you can find that these are the regular settings you used to find in almost all the ROMs and besides that liquid there is a liquid smooth exclusive settings like equalizer which is a wiper for android i have to install the wiper for android and then it will give you awesome sound effects and then if you got the interface option you can find lcd density show search bars in recents and all if you want to see recents menu this is the recents menu you can find you can put a search bar on this menu they say so let me try that one and find anything anyway so they started just started working on this ROM so give it some time and then here is a status bar customization options like quick settings quick pull down and all we can settings all these things and then I figured the advanced menu ad blocker is there so I can uh, disable all the ads if I update my host file I can disable all the ads which is a great tool Uh, besides that if you go to the main option again you can find privacy guard and blacklist I can blacklist calls and incoming calls and message I can blacklist and then filter notifications you can filter the notifications and then uh, these are the buttons hardware button customization you can do and then display options are here these are all regular options like volume rocker wake is there so if the phone is in the lock screen I can turn it on using the volume key itself without uh, using the power button or the home button. Um, other options like uh, is immense, disable immersive mode, uh, messages is there, and then sound notification. I can, if I use the volume control, I can see this priority, you no know, interruptions, and all. So it comes with a lollipop itself. And other sound and vibration options are here notification like I can customize customize like um, I can even customize battery light and all and there are notifications here notification access options then next is storage you can see all the storage information battery options apps this is app manager and then users I can add or delete users from there and then system profiles I can change location settings, security settings, account and then uh, in language and input in this ROM the, the stock keyboard is working fine at the first time itself so it's also fixed set so big backup and restore settings here, date, uh, date and time and then accessibility settings printing options, super user so it is a pre-rooted ROM so you look at that and then uh, other developer options are here so you can also search the options from here itself so it's a great tool like I can search and select the options I want 
using the search bar. After that, if you look at the the web browser is default web browser, and then if you look at the menu options, you can find all these apps like uh, calculator, and then as well as calendar, clock. Everything is comes with Android Lollipop as a stock one, and then Google settings. If I use a Flash G apps, I can find all the apps here and then here is the music application it's a new music application looks good and works great and that's it and so far this is the most stable uh, lollipop rom i ever tested so i recommend you to test this rom if you want to know how to install this rom but there is a bit Link in the description to show you that. Just go and check it out. That's it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more.